Canadians agree, kick them out. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. While most media outlets try to tell you what to think, we at the Rebel actually believe in asking the public their thoughts. So when a controversy arose last week over the idea of stripping dual nationals of their Canadian citizenship if they carry out or plot terrorist attacks against Canada or join an army fighting ours, well, we told you what we thought. We said, kick them out. But we also asked Canadians. We asked for your help in crowdfunding a poll, a scientifically valid, reputable poll. Well, the results are in and they're nothing short of stunning. Fully 84% of Canadians coast to coast agree with stripping dual nationals of Canadian citizenship if they attack Canada. Let me read to you what was put before the public. It's a standard statement and then you're asked if you agree or disagree. We didn't torque the statement. We didn't get the people taking the poll mad uh, by, you know, preceding the question by talking about all the deaths that terrorists have caused. No, we just stated what's at issue. And it said, Canadian citizens who are also citizens of another country who are convicted of terrorism or taking up arms against Canada should be stripped of their citizenship and deported when they get out of prison. Agree or disagree? Well, 84% of Canadians agree with that statement. 69% strongly agree. 15% moderately agree. On the opposite side, 8% moderately disapprove and 8% strongly disapprove. With numbers like this, let me point out some basic facts. Supporting support for stripping terrorists of their citizenship, it goes across party lines. You've got conservatives, new Democrats, liberal voters, bloc voters, all supporting this idea. At 84%, you can also be sure that there's a good number of immigrants that support this, people who are themselves dual nationals. And then look across the country. The lowest level of support is in British Columbia, where only... 78% of Canadians say strip terrorists of their citizenship. But meanwhile, Justin Trudeau says terrorists should keep their citizenship even while he continues to agree with revoking the citizenship of Nazi war criminals. And when I asked him why after the Monk debate, he said, well, Nazis lied on their paperwork. Uh, Revocation of citizenship uh, can and should happen in situations of becoming a Canadian citizen on false pretenses. Indeed, uh, when people have lied as on their applications, those applications uh, get rescinded even years later. Uh, But this is a very different situation of creating a penalty for uh, someone just because their parents were born in another country. Canada is not a, a country of fear and division. Canada is a country of laws and rights, and that's what we will hold to. Does the law say you have to actually commit an act and be convicted? The, com- the act was fraud on their, uh, on their citizenship application. Mr. Lindley. Next question. Okay, first off, Nazi war criminals were stripped of their citizenship because of the heinous acts they committed, not a simple lie on their application to get into Canada. Secondly, isn't it bizarre? Isn't it telling that to Justin Trudeau and the Liberals, lying on paperwork is worse than attacking or plotting to attack your fellow Canadians? To Trudeau, lying on paperwork is worse than joining a foreign army and fighting against Canada. Now, let me remind you, he made those comments steps from one of the targets of the Toronto 18 terror cell across the street from CBC's headquarters in Toronto, steps from the financial district. The plan had been to pack U-Haul trucks with fertilizer bombs and set them off in these areas of downtown Toronto while it was teeming with people. The mastermind of that plot is a Jordanian-born terrorist named Zakaria Amara, who planned to flee Canada as soon as the bombs were set off. Zakaria Amara has shown that he has no loyalty to Canada, no love for Canada, that he wished to kill as many Canadians as he possibly could. So why should we keep him? Just because Justin Trudeau says a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian, unless, of course, they're Nazi war criminals? Trudeau and the media want you to believe that stripping citizenship is something dreamed up by big bad Stephen Harper and the Conservatives. It's not. Since 1977, when Justin's dad, Pierre Trudeau, was prime minister and Justin was playing hide and seek at 24 Sussex Drive, this country has revoked the citizenship of people that were deemed to be Canadians. We've done it more than 50 times. It's not a new invention. What is new is applying it to terrorists. And while Trudeau and the media party oppose this idea, you and the majority of Canadians, the overwhelming majority of Canadians, support kicking terrorists out. Thank you for your support on this, for signing our petition, for helping pay for this poll. We couldn't have done it without you. We express our gratitude to you now. Now, if you haven't signed our petition, it's not too late. Go to kickthemout.ca now and add your name. And if you have already signed, well, share the poll or the petition with your friends 
help spread the word. Remember, we're on your side. Ow! We're building a studio. Help us out. Click here or visit buildthedream.ca.